It's always the same. After every stressful job, I swear to myself that I'm going to do things differently from now on. To finally make more time for my family and friends. For going out more, to movies and concerts. But then it doesn't take long for my good intentions to burst like bubbles. And soon enough, I'm rushing around as harried as ever. As soon as I cross an item off the top of my to-do list, five more appear at the bottom. I must be doing something wrong. So, fertig? Mm, alles klar. Tschüss. The only way I seem to experience time nowadays is... there's not enough of it. such a damn rush. I mean, I'm always trying to be efficient and save time. My PC, iPhone and super fast internet connection are supposed to help me do this, aren't they? But instead of having more time, I seem to have less and less. My head feels like a pinball machine. I have the feeling that something in my life has spun out of control. But it took three life-changing experiences to wake me up and make me realize this. Four years ago, when I was traveling to Africa to do research for a film, my cameraman Andy and I were abducted by the Nigerian Secret Service and brought before a court. We were charged with espionage and faced a sentence of 14 years in prison. Fortunately, we were acquitted. But during the harrowing two months of the trial, I had a lot of time to think about my life. Not quite a year later, my son Anton was born. An incredible experience that apparently wore me out more than it did his mother. Now that Tony's here, my constant rushing seems even more absurd to me. Then my father became very ill. He died a year ago. That really drove it home to me how finite life is and that I can't keep putting off the important things. So I decided it's time to find the reason for my breathlessness. I want the serenity I once had back. I want to spend time with my son without constantly glancing at my watch or my iPhone. Maybe I'll even find the answer to that age-old question. How do we want to live our lives?